folks, it's Norm Bergen here taking you on an insider's tour of Jasper National Park. Today, we're up here at Marmot Basin Ski Hill. This ski hill is about 20 kilometers south of Jasper on highway number 93. Twenty twenty-three marks the 60th anniversary of Marmot Basin Ski Hill. However, people have been skiing down this mountain for almost a hundred years. Folks, if you stay with me to the very end, I will tell you what's new and exciting up here at Marmot Basin that occurred just this year. In the 1920s, Joseph Wise, a local ski enthusiast and photographer, named this ski hill. He was a Swiss ski guide who pioneered ski mountaineering in Jasper and is credited with blazing the first trail into Marmot Basin for downhill ski enthusiasts. He also led the Jasper Five on the first long distance ski traverse from Jasper to Banff in 1930. That's one year before construction started on the Icefields Parkway, Highway 93. Whistler's Mountain and Marmot Basin are named for the hoary marmot, a large rodent that communicates with whistles and lives all over the mountain tops in this area. In the 1940s, the local ski hill was north of here, out at Whistler's Mountain. It was just below what is today the Jasper Sky Tram. While locals used the tow rope and jump built by Ken Cook on Jasper's first ski hill, the Lovett Scouts, who were part of the British Army preparing for World War II, trained for alpine maneuvers here at Marmot Basin. The Lovett Scouts used to get up here with snowmobiles and snowcats, and they left behind an old army truck that was later scavenged for parts to build the first motorized tow rope on the mountain. In the 1950s, Bill Reddy and Tom McCready lobbied to get a road built up here to Marmot Basin. But the only way to get up the hill at that time was in a Bombardier snowcat, which could carry 15 passengers at a time. In 1964, Parks Canada issued a license of operation for Marmot Basin Ski Hill. And consequently, the ski hill was born. Wow! What people may not know is that it was the park wardens that ran this Marmot Basin Ski Hill. They hired the staff. They hired the ski patrollers. They cut out the ski runs. They did the avalanche control. Everything was done with our park wardens. At that time, legendary park warden, Tony Clettle was up here organizing everything. He had five general employees and 11 park wardens getting this all operational. It's no wonder that his daughter became an Olympic skier. That working relationship with Parks Canada was just the very beginning. Once it was officially open for business, development on the hill took off. A modern highway to Marmot Basin was built in the 1970s. Chairlifts and runs were developed and extended. More chalets were built and snowmaking systems were installed to lengthen the ski season. The Canadian Rockies Express ski lift here at Marmot Basin was built in 2009 at 2.3 kilometers in length. It is the longest high speed quad ski lift in the Canadian Rockies. These days, Marmot Basin has a very serious focus on sustainability. It is one of the only ski hills in Western Canada that reduces its carbon footprint by over 10,000 tons of carbon dioxide each year by organizing staff and guest transportation to and from the ski area. And you never know just who might be driving the bus. 
Their water supply comes from underground streams that come down this mountain. The excess that they do not utilize, of course, flows all the way down the mountain to the Athabasca River. Instead of clear cutting on these ski runs, what they do is selective tree removal. And that process is called glading. At the end of the season, they shut down all of the unnecessary power. That is almost six months of the year. They even recycle the road gravel. So the gravel they put on the road getting up here in the wintertime, they gather it up in the spring and they use it on the excess trails here on the mountain. Do you ever wonder who is up here in the summertime? Well, folks, don't forget about the grizzly bears because of course the high alpine area is one of their favorite areas. And then they come down into the valley for their food as well. Mountain goats, oh, they're those beautiful ones with the long white fur. They started to come down the mountain now. They are exceptionally beautiful. And this is their summer terrain. In addition to all of that, we have the hoary marmots. And of course, this is called Marmot Basin, named after none other than those hoary marmots. Here's the news that I promised you at the very beginning. You see, Marmot Basin this year opened up two new adventures. One they call Marmot 2, and the other they call Marmot Cirque. What happens up here, folks, is it is black diamond skiing, or perhaps double diamond skiing. Of course, the only diamonds that I really like are the ones that I buy for my wife or my girls. This is for advanced skiers and snowboarders only. When conditions allow, it means fall line skiing from 200 to 500 meters long on a 40 plus degree pitch in open alpine rocky terrain. And what a view. If the truth be told, I am much more comfortable on one of these. Folks, stay safe, be well, and I'll see you in the mountains. This land was made for you and me. However, skiing, <laughs> if you hear a little booming and banging in the background, they're doing a little bit of avalanche control today and it sometimes takes us by surprise.